What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about all of the kill streaks that will be available to you in Modern Warfare 3 before I get into all the details. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my twitter, and of course if you enjoy the video hit the like button. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you consider subscribing. When it comes to kill streaks, we have a lot to choose from this year. So let's go ahead and just start off with what we're going to have available to us in game. The UAV, the counter UAV, the cluster mine, the precision airstrike, the mosquito drone, the SAM turret, the bomb drone, the switchblade drone, the cruise missile, the guardian, uh, the care package, the remote turret, the mortar strike, the SAE, the ju uh, juggernaut recon, the Wilson, the overwatch helo, the VTOL jet, the emergency airdrop, the carpet bomb, the advanced UAV, gunship, juggernaut, and chopper gunner. Now, we did get to see a few of these in the Modern Warfare 3 beta, but not all of them, of course, were available in the beta. We did not have a whole lot of kill streaks to choose from. We had a kind of a small sample amount. Uh, but when the game officially launches, of course, here in just a few days on the 10th, you're going to have a lot to choose from uh, when it comes to using uh, different kill streaks, depending on if you're a person that likes to use more things uh, that will help out the team, like UAVs, counter UAVs. Uh, advanced uh, UAVs, that kind of stuff. Or if you're going for more, uh, you know, big kill kind of games, you have a lot of different things to choose from when it comes to that, like precision airstrikes, um, the cruise missile, of course, your things like the juggernauts, uh, your normal VTOLs, gunships, and chopper gunners. I'm not sure exactly how strong these are going to be. I'm sure it's going to take some tweaking. In my opinion, over the years, kill streaks have had less and less impact on the game unlike what they had on their game uh, impact wise back to begin with when cod first came out uh cod 4 if you think about cod 4 modern warfare 2 kill streaks were a, a serious thing that had to be dealt with uh in the game you know and, and they felt like they were something that when you got them you actually achieved something sometimes now i don't feel like a lot of the streaks over the last few years have been as good as they have in the past but that's not to say this year's streaks will not be good hopefully there's going to be a lot to choose from, like I said, and hopefully there are going to be some good streaks in this, and maybe you can find kind of your, I guess, uh, niche of what you would like to run, because everybody kind of likes to run different stuff. People like to kind of play their streaks off other streaks, and it just depends on, like I said, what kind of uh, a fan of streaks you are. If it's something you want to do to help the team out, or if it's something you want to do to go for bigger kill games, or maybe if you're going for nukes, you know, you want to run a lot of UAVs and advanced UAV, uh, advanced UAVs just to help yourself out personally. Anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think about these kill streaks, and let me know if you're excited for Modern Warfare 3 here in just a few days, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.